So Loki, kind of we talked about importance of network in our previous video, but we know that networking is important. Even before applying for a job, you need to start mm -hmm. networking. I tell my students that while you are at university, the only thing you need to do now till you graduate, network, build relationship, identify those companies that you want to work, follow them on LinkedIn, engage with their content, try to find someone, maybe do informative uh, interview with them, but build relationship because it's all about relationship. But still sometimes new students or immigrants still networking for them is, oh, I'm going to speak with someone I don't know. I'm going to ask someone to help me. Like, I don't feel comfortable. So what tips do you have from your experience about how to network before even the job market or maybe during the job market so i, I like to actually rebrand networking because when people talk about networking they often talk about like you said informational interviews yeah. like interrogating someone about their yeah. job and and what they do day to day which is fine i mean mm -hmm. that's a great start but i like to refer to it instead as uh, bmc which stands for building meaningful connections, mm -hmm. right? So instead of networking with someone, why don't you build a meaningful connection with them? Yes. Right? That often changes the perspective and the mindset where you're not connecting with them to get a job, right? Mm -hmm. You're connecting with them because they're an interesting person. Mm -hmm. They could be you five, 10 years in the future. And yeah. wouldn't you like to know what you went through, what they went through, what sort of decisions they had to make, uh, had to make during that time, or what's in store for you as you go through that journey, right? Mm -hmm. um, so treating the connection not as like a, a network, as someone to be used, yeah. but as uh, uh, kind of like farming, right? It's a mm -hmm. seed to be planted, to yeah. be nurtured, and to grow and, and to incubate over time, right? Um, and for those who are very new to networking and have never done so because maybe in their culture or their tradition, like that's mm -hmm. not something that we normally do, right? Yeah. Then consider just starting and practicing where you are, right? Um, like if you're learning to swim, right? You don't just start by jumping in the ocean. <laughs> you might yeah. want to start with the with the shallow end of a pool first. Yeah. And it could be just talking to your classmates, right? The people mm -hmm. that you don't really know as much, right? Uh, and, and that person that you say hi to all the time, well, why not stop and actually have a true conversation with them? And you work out the kinks of being able to get past like the awkward co conversations, the silences that are there. And when you're at, at an, an actual networking event, a coffee chat or what have you, then the conversation flows a little bit more, more freely uh, as well. And there's so many opportunities to network and connect, right? If you're super shy, you can just say hi to like the, the cashier or the, the barista that's making your coffee, right? Yeah. Ask them about their day and not just the superficial, like how are they doing and, and get to know them, right? Yeah. Uh, and anybody in hospitality, right? The, your, your servers, your waiters, the, their job is to connect with you and be hospitable. Mm -hmm. So use that as great areas of, of practice, right? Um, and then there's all sorts of other guidance out there like leverage LinkedIn, have those coffee chats, yes. right? And understand that, uh, that there's the expression uh, with, from one of the big banks, like you're richer than you think. <laughs> right? Yeah. So oftentimes uh, you have a lot more folks in your network, be it your family, uh, friends, your relatives, uh, people in your uh, interest groups, be it a pickup basketball game or, or book club or whatever, even the neighbors where you're taking the elevator, uh, mm -hmm. why not say hi when you're taking out the trash at the same time? Why not say hi and have a conversation, right? Connecting with uh, all of those would be uh, definitely something that would help them to build that network. Mm -hmm. And then to evolve it where true networking, true building of meaningful connections makes it about the other person. Right. Yeah. So the goal is to give first uh, instead of just waiting to get the referral, get the person to uh, put them in contact with a recruiter or in, in a job. So if you give first and look to add value to the other people and, and make it about them and really build that meaningful connection, I find that that would be a very helpful uh, way for folks that are new to the country, new to networking to kind of dip their toes in, in the shadow end versus mm -hmm. jumping in the ocean <laughs> in order to, to, to get more familiar with the networking mm -hmm. side. And then every day, every week, like ask themselves, what did you do well? And what could you do better? Yeah. And then do both of them the next time and constantly improve. Cause it's unlikely that 
you'll listen to this video and you'll automatically be good at networking, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's it like any time. skill where time. you have to practice. Absolutely, right? Yeah. Just like swimming. The first time you went swimming, you probably didn't uh, do laps across the, the pool. <laughs> you yeah. probably uh, needed to, to kind of float a little bit and get mm -hmm. your face familiar in the water. And once you did, then eventually you, you yeah. got a little better. Like any skill, you need practice in order to develop and get better and grow. Yeah, I tell my clients, uh, especially if you're on LinkedIn, you know, I build relationships. And also if you're going to in-person events, now that we are back from COVID, you know, put in your mind that I need to meet three new people and engage with them at the beginning. Not don't ask about how's the weather, what's your, what, ask them what is their intent from attending this workshop or this gathering. Mm -hmm. And then, as you mentioned, it's not about them, help me, help me. It's about, it's not about you. It's all about them. How can I help yes. in service? And don't ask them at, at the job at the beginning, build relationships, and then you can ask for a job. Absolutely. I usually tell folks to network not to get a job. Mm -hmm. Instead, be curious, interested, and look to add value. Yeah. And when you do so, then you find that the opportunities tend to come to you. Yeah. Right? Those are so great that's, tips, that's Loki. Thank you very much. And for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Loki. Mm -hmm.